Welcome everybody to another episode of Community Voices. Hope everybody is doing good. Um, you know, today, if you didn't watch the last episode, just want to, you know, we're continuing the mission of Community Voices, but we're also making sure that for Black History Month, we're making sure to tap into the uh, designers and the people within this industry who are making Black history currently, you know, channeling in from what our ancestors did and how we can have that impact in our respective areas and our respective fields. And um, we're going to continue to celebrate and commemorate those historic moments, you know, past and current by showcasing and highlighting the black creatives design the black creatives and designers behind the design within the industry and so today i'm very excited and very happy to be joined by vp and gm for jordan's north america streetwear jimmy manley how you doing thank you for having me Devin. i'm uh, it's a pleasure to be here i'm doing well and uh i couldn't be more honored for the opportunity just to speak to such a um, important topic for a really important cause of course, man. I appreciate it. I know you've talked about everybody being busy, so I still, even though we're all busy, I still appreciate you making time for this. So I, I, I'm very grateful. I'm very happy for this. Um, so let's go ahead and get things kicked off, man. I would love to know, um, you know, there's different things that kind of push us and motivate us to get to this these spaces that we're in now. For you, what was that motivation or that inspiration that came that, you know, pushed you into, you know, wanting to be into this industry and this space? When I was uh, in the second grade, I want to say the school I went to in order to get on the hoop court, you have to have Jordans on. Mm. It changed my life. You know, uh, my, my, my first pair of shoes that didn't light up were the playoff eights. And I, I begged my father to, to get me these shoes so I can get on the court. So I would say around that time, I developed a passion uh, simultaneously for sport and for sneakers. And I didn't have any idea how both of those, um, let's say, uh, passions would be vehicles for my future moving forward. That's crazy. The eight, huh? that, I mean, that holds a special key in your heart till this day, I'm sure. It it does. It does. Uh, it's it's not my, my 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 favorite Jordan of all time, but it's the one that means the most to me. Like I can't even wear it anymore because I just it, it means so much. I just look at it. Yeah, no, I love that. I love that. I think we all kind of have those people where it's like, man. I, it just it, it when you see something and it takes you back like that makes it just so special it's like you don't even want to wear it. you're just like no i just remember what that did for me a lot it's of art. It's, art, it's art for me straight up art exactly exactly um you know we talked about that moment that brought you there but i would love to know from a like inspirational standpoint and like people um who are some of the people that were your biggest inspirations into this space i know there's people like you know wilson smith who's like you know that one of the first to ever do it, but then we also have people who inspire us from different fields, like our parents or friends. Who was who was that person for you that kind of let you know, oh, like, I be I belong in this space. I can actually have a spot in this space. Like the dream can be real. Right on. Um, you know, first and foremost is my father. He um, he was the person who got me into to this industry just because he would wait in line for sneakers when I was at school. People don't remember. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit older, Devin. So back when I was growing up, uh, shoes and sneakers and Jordan specifically released on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. Right. And so uh, I would have to tell <laughs> tell this man and say, hey, I need you to uh, go wait in this line for me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I know you got a job, too, but I got to have these J's. I have to have them. And he would hear the conversations that me and my friends would have. And he kind of became competitive too. Like, oh, we, oh, so everybody wants these? Oh, so we got to get these? Uh, <laughs> he was, uh, he was my, my, my first sneaker friend, right? And, and this started from uh, taking me to hang out at Foot Locker. Then um, that went to taking me to hang out at Nike Town. Um, and then ultimately... I remember getting my hands on a limited magazine. So limited magazine is something that, uh, but before Instagram, mm -hmm. you would have this quarterly magazine that you had to sign up for. Um, shout out to Clark Kent and Hawaii Mike. And I saw Undefeated for the first time in this magazine. Mm. And it was unlike anything that I had ever seen at that point in time. Um, and when I walked in there and I seen that environment and I, I I felt like I was home immediately. And at that moment, I knew that's what I wanted to do. Um, and so when you think about years later, being able to, you know, meet these same people that I grew up um, being a fan of, 
I, I, I thank them a lot, right? Because these are the forefathers of our of our industry. So what right. I what I them, um, the inspiration and and the vision, um, and just the 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 jewels of of how to navigate this space wouldn't wouldn't have have, have been there. And I I wanna I wanna actually go right there. You took me to my next point perfectly. From then to there and being able to kind of see those full circle moments happen, these different experiences and the things that, you know, you dream about being in the space, but now you're being able to see what being in that space looks like for you and opportunities and the learnings. In between this time, because you you you've done a lot of stuff within that, between what we just mentioned and now, what would you say is some of the most memorable moments for you? And not just memorable moments in like, you know the excitement or the surrealism of like being in that moment, but where it's just kind of like reaffirming and realigning that like, like that was me. Like I played a part in this. Like, oh yes, yeah, I said I belong in this space. And these are the confirmations of like how that comes to fruition or how that comes to life. I I knew that I was going to be able to make a career out of this um, when I was working at Mitchell and S. Mm. And in that moment, you know, a couple individuals, uh, Gave me an opportunity. Shout out to to Victor Rosario and uh, John Connors. They uh, they put me on, and in that moment, I ended up uh, being able to present a, a plan and an idea to to Don C. Wow, business officially, um, and in the moment, in the way that the room responded to just my my ideas, uh, it gave me a ton of confidence. But more so, watching. Again, um, being able to 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 watch how uh, Don just just let me in, right? There was no he he didn't gatekeep me. Yeah, uh, he let me be a part of the process, and that's something that I've taken on to this day. When I work with other people who are in the position that I was in then, who just need a break, uh, who need to be seen, who need a platform, uh, that's what those three gentlemen gave me in that moment was pivotal i never looked back mm. so no no more fear only ambition from that moment on so i would i would say that was the the job and the role i love that that, made, that 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 moved me that made me inspired i love that that's so crazy especially during that if you think about that time for not just like the brand of mitchell and ness but also for like who don c was and like where the creative landscape was for streetwear and fashion in general like that's just such a big moment to say like the least changed my life Change my life. I can't even put it into words, right? And 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 you know, like being able to move around in those spaces, and then from that moment, meeting so many other people uh, who I could learn from, and that, and that's one thing. You know, this is an unsolicited question. Uh, I value leadership more more than anything else, right? And mm -hmm. in order to be a good leader, you got to be a good follower. And mm -hmm. in those formative years. Um, you know, any of my mentors, anytime I was asked to do something, and I maybe I might not have really understood why there were times I didn't even agree with it, but always did it because it was a lesson to learn. Right. It was, it was a lesson uh, to, to learn from those moments. So that's just some unsolicited advice I give the folks. It's just, uh, you know, find you a mentor and, and be a good mentee and just go. You got to trust the process. And I know that's something that's taboo and 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 um something that people always say but it's true it's very true trust trust in the process is it, it people make it seem like it's cliche and corny because they use it so often but that's also just speaks to how true it actually is that's what life is right like it's a constant test of like do you trust this process or not do you have faith in this or not do you believe in yourself or not it's like nothing comes overnight so i totally agree with you that trust the process might sound corny but that is literally the the common commonality of every big moment in life is like, do you trust this next level of process? That's it. Uh, to your point, you know, you talk about it being uh, integral in life, and and my perspective is that all it is is um experiments and experience. Yep. Right. Everything you do is an experience. Um, is is an experiment. Experiment. Pardon mm -hmm. me. And through that experiment, you're gonna gain experience no matter what, no matter whether you take that W or you take that L. You're gonna get experience out of that, so you know don't don't be afraid to 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 fail fast. I love that. I'm, I'm gonna let that breathe right there. I love that. That's so true. Um, I want to also you know mention that we'll be donating 5K 
to um, your charity of choice, which was the Self Enhancement Self Enhancement Incorporated SCI. I'm saying it right, yeah, SCI. That'd be a better way to say it. Um, yeah. You know, to that mission of you know impacting communities and giving back and, and building and always having that focus. Um, and you kind of spoke to it actually a little bit with the mentorships and the mentees and having the group of people around you. But um, I would love to just kind of speak a little bit more just on you know the importance of not just like that mentorship piece, but just giving back to the community and then you know just like like how important those contributions are. Um, and this is the most important thing. Um, and, and thank you for asking me this question because I almost almost forgot to mention somebody uh, who also opened up a, a bunch of doors for me. Uh, shout out to Dame, Damian Preston, um, who laid me up for that Mitchell and his job. And I thanked him so much, right? I would thank him profusely. And he said, you don't have to thank me. Just remember to, uh, when you get in a position to reach back, mm. right? And so when you, when you, we connected, to do this interview, like I, I know it's not an option. I gotta make time. Like this is this is my duty. So service is important to me, right? And um, I'm from Los Angeles, um, Long Beach, born and raised. And so when moving you to Portland, that. you already said. <laughs> so move, moving to Portland, um, I, I I just wasn't sure, you know, what the community looked like, mm -hmm. uh, and how people had opportunities to come from, uh, to to come to come from out of certain situations they were in, in the city. And my wife introduced me to SCI. And she introduced me to SCI because I, I saw this bill that we had donated. And I said, who's SCI? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <and she> goes, <laughs> this is this is our charity that we donate to. And then from that moment, I I, I got to really um, get involved and, and meet some of the people who work there and meet some of the kids who benefit from this organization. And I'm inspired. Um, I am humbled and I'm motivated by the work that they do in the city of Portland every single day. And if you were to just have a chance to um, meet some of these young men and women who come out of this program, uh, it'd make a lot of sense why I'm choosing to to donate to them. So uh, shout out to, to, to SCI. Big shout out to SCI for sure. That's that's. The the work the work that is done is is so important. It's so important. So I love. Thank you for speaking to that. I want to ask you one more thing before we get ready to close. Um, and for me, uh, you know, it it means like when I when I have these conversations, whether it's a one on Instagram, whether it's one on Twitter, whether it's you know moments where I'm able to have bigger conversations and bigger impact like these. These mean a lot to me because I grew up not really noticing that there are people who look like me in these spaces that we have a place, especially having a place outside of the design skill. A lot of people think sometimes that, you know, because I'm not creative, I can never be in an entry. I don't know how to design a shoe. I don't know. But now there's other ways to do things. There's different avenues and areas to, to occupy those spaces and be impactful. Um, so I would love to know from your perspective, personally, how does it feel to, to break into this space? and to continue to like also not just be in a space and be be glad and be present and be grateful, but also like, you know, continue to take on the challenge to push for more, more diversity and to push to give other people who inspire to be you or who are next to you or that want to reach up that same opportunity. Like, what does it feel like? And how do you how do you continue to like do that work? Great, great question. And even the way you you kind of laid it up, right? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a designer, mm -hmm. right? I'm a business leader, but I don't draw, uh, I don't sketch. I have a, a, a ton of respect for the the women and men who do play those roles. Um, but I built a career off of listening. Mm. Um, it's It's never about me. It's never about me. I'm listening to the needs of other people, right? So... Uh, if I can understand what the, the 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 people who consume our products and have an affinity for our brand, um, that's who I'm working for. And essentially, my job is to solve problems. That's all I want to do. If you love the the particular product, how 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 can we make it better? Mm. Right. Um, so doing things newer and better. That's it. And if you can figure out a way to do that and you find your perspective 
in doing that in a sharp way and then ultimately remember that you're you're, you're part of something bigger mm. so how to work well with others and figure out that it's a a mission that's that's larger and and worth something more than it just being for you so when you make it about something else and you make it about somebody else and you want to be there for the person next to you to bring it back full circle right and so today um we're here because for somebody else for anybody watching this right i hope one person could could get inspired or get a gem from anything that i said and that's the why that's my why that's why i do what i do um inside the the building i work in and outside i just try to make it about um other people and that that brings me uh a ton of joy i love that i think one i i've actually never heard or approached the idea of like the biggest job is to listen like that was like i had to step back when you said that i was like wait a minute he's right and then too i think i love that you spoke to that last piece um of like you know giving back and helping even if it's not like 100 people even if it's just one people like one person purpose the purpose of like you know a lot of the things that we do and then we create they're never just for us they're really for the impact of others what other people will get from it the theory that somebody's always watching so you got to watch what you do how you carry yourself and what you do it for so i think you wrap that up sum that up perfectly no doubt no doubt awesome man well listen thank you so much for this conversation thank you so much for your contribution thank you so much for what you do i appreciate you a thousand percent man and just like i said this is to me this is black history seeing us in these spaces seeing us do these things seeing us get back to me these are the ways that we're still continuing to write black history so from me to you thanks so much thank you. i appreciate before we get out of here before we get out of here yeah if if i didn't take a moment to uh big up jd for sure uh, love the work the work that you all are doing um y'all on fire right now but you're doing the work, you're doing the right things, right? You know, we've we've had um we've had a really interesting time over the past four 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 years. Um, and you all have been there, right? Uh the way that your brand shows up uh is something for 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 us to admire. So thank you. Shout out to JD Sport. Man, see, I ain't even gonna say no more on top of that, man. We appreciate you. Thank you everybody for tuning in to another episode of Community Voices. 